Hello everyone, welcome to this second episode of our Seymour Sotak um, Discovery. Today, we will be doing the assembling of the battery so that we can see and check the red dot itself. Okay, so we'll be, the battery is here, so we'll be um, opening this up. So we'll be putting now the battery. So in my last um, in my last video, I hope that you gained some ideas there. What's inside in a Sotak Seymour? Today we will go directly to the uh, assembling of this Seymour Red Dot. First, we will do the battery, putting the battery. You see that? So after you unscrew the nuts, the, now you see the plus and the negative, positive and negative sign. So all we need to do, um, actually it used what kind of battery? We'll check. So Taxi more is using LR44 LR44 Okay, that's the battery it's using so we'll be inserting it okay. LR44 So positive Negative so where's the positive here? Oh Positive here and negative here. So we will be just inserting, snap it. So it's my, we need to really have at least another spare of battery. So we'll check if it will turn on. There you go. So we will um, put back the cover first before we'll have our first impression of this um, red dot so careful not to in threading the, the bolt it must go with its thread so that there will be no other problem with the threads so you need to screw it slowly and surely okay if you feel like it's stacking up don't force it find the line of thread okay careful and slowly you need to follow the thread guys so that you then guys you you don't need to really tight it much because it's just a cover it will not affect the battery as long that you have that certain tight tightening up amount then it's gonna be good okay all right so we already uh, um, put in the battery and now let's check out the laser the the dot so this is this is the knob for the adjustment there is one three five seven nine so from off you need to really put it off so that it will not discharge the battery let's try one this is this is one okay you can see that let's try two or three that's three and then five five okay and then seven seven okay and then seven then nine nine or ten there's also ten hi see 
beautiful beautiful red dot wow perfect so as you can see from here okay i will be turning the knob low see see the adjustment until it turn off that's off see that that's so high so if you are just indoor you can do 50 percent if you are in uh, an outdoor range you need to really put it in full all right so that's how we quickly install the battery and turn on now in my next episode we will be installing this in my pcc so most of my games is actually indoor so basically i don't need to put this on because i want it more ergonomic and much easier for me to find a target if there's no any obstacles i will just use this and un until it's too sh too hot and too sunny to prevent the light to come in and to focus in my target so for now i'll just keep this okay keep it there and this one as well for now i we need to really put this on why you know why because this will prevent the target from being moved so what we will be doing is we'll be putting this on so that our tar our our laser is protected from any kind of bumps and movements so let's uh, open this part or let's put this on okay because there might be a time that when you are storing your your gun in your gun case especially um, in your housings there there's a tendency that this will be moved so in order to protect that from being moved we need to have the guard the protector so that's gonna be the thing that we'll be installing today okay so don't forget to really put that on it's very very important okay so we'll unscrew okay see now we're putting this on like that so basically it will not disturb your red dot the red dot is still there okay no problem with that without this red dot with this on okay so see that the dot and the guard do you notice the difference there's a difference there's like a little wave wave here like here it's perfectly circle but if you put it if you put not a guard there's a little flash in the side notice that there is that like flash so I don't know Maybe for a moment, I will be checking out and trying this. Okay. But I think there's a lot of disturbance from the side. But I think it can also become a good guide in putting it there. So that you will know if you're in line or out of line, out of sight. So for me, I'm going to decide, I'm going to be putting this. This is to protect as well my, my red dot not to be moved. So I'll be putting this on. 
and we'll see if it will if if it will really disturb me then i'm gonna be putting it off but if it can help me with those linear guide in the side side to side then for sure i'll be keeping it like this okay at least for me there is a total support in my laser that's one of the most important thing the laser guide so for now i'm gonna be installing this Okay, again, don't push too much. Still, it's opening. So for me, I'm gonna be putting that guard for my light. So you notice that there's that light side to side. So hopefully it will not make any distortion in my line of sight as I will be using it. All right, so we're done. And in my next vlog, I will be showing you how I'm gonna install this in my PCC. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this helps you.